Time to install the hypervisor ESXi from VMware to provision this physical server in order to run multiple VM on this server. So I have already downloaded the ISO file from VMware and put it on a USB and plug into this server. So I'm going to put this server to boot from ESXi boot disk and try to load the hypervisor on this physical server okay i'm going to reboot the server right now okay it's rebooting give it a couple minutes okay the server is booting up now okay hopefully it will detect my drives the same book failure seems not finding my USB drive anyway. I will go to the BIOS setting to check it out. Okay, this time I'm going to press F12 to pick up a boot device. Okay, from the selection, I can see I have my USB front is plugged in, and I'm going to try to boot from here. Oh, it's booting up now. It found my ESSI installation drive. Okay, it's loading the files now. Give it a second. Okay, it's uh, asking me to do the installation. Enter, agree the license. Okay, and now it should ask me to pick up a uh, storage to install. So I have multiple storage here. Apparently, you can install on a local hard drive storage, and also you can install on the uh, USB drive, and uh, also there's uh, another USB drive here. So I have a USB drive plugged in onto the motherboard. So I'm going to use this one as the destination. Oh, saying disk will be overwritten, that's fine. Okay, and the password. So after I enter the password, I can keep going. So F11 to install. So it's installing, give it a couple minutes. Oh, it's finished. So it asked me to remove my installation drive. Okay, and enter to reboot. Okay, it's going to reboot, so hopefully our new installed ESSI will be bootable. It's booting up now. Okay, it's trying to find a bootable hard drive, but seems still not finding. I think I need to go to the BIOS to see the settings. Okay, I'm in the BIOS. I'm trying to see if I can find the boot options. USB storage. Okay. Boot device. Okay, I just hit enter and it's disappeared from my list. Okay, I don't know what this one talking about. Anyway, I try to add put options already. So hopefully it will put again. Change put order. I have a multiple order, maybe USB storage plus add using the plus to make the uh, first boot okay oh, 
Did you change? No. One more time. Enter. Okay. Commit the change. Okay. So I did change the boot. So I'm okay to save the settings and exit my setup. Okay. Let's boot one more time. Oh, it's instantly booting from my USB drive now. So hopefully it will boot successfully. Oh, it's boot successfully and it got the IP address. You can use this IP address to log into this server right now, but uh, apparently most time you need to use the F2 to customize this system. Okay. Okay. So I'm in here, so I'm going to configure management network, network IPv4, so I'm going to use the static IP. I don't like the dynamic. So I already have the correct IP address. Okay, hit enter. Okay. So DNS. Anyway, I'm going to use a public DNS. Okay. Uh, this one I will leave it later. Okay. That's fine. So I finished the chain. Ask me, do you want to apply and restart the network? Okay. So I have the static IP address and now I'm able to use my browser to log into this IP address and config my server. So basically this is the initial setup for a physical server to add a virtualizing platform hypervisor ESSI on a Lenovo server. So thanks for watching.